Hey folks, Barry the Beer Guy here from iBuyOldBeer.com. Today's video will be restoring and just a little lesson on the Grain Belt Scoreboard Radio. The Grain Belt Talking Scoreboard Radio was put out, oh, I'm thinking mid to late 60s. And this one, check it out, new in the box. The story on this one is that uh, a gal's husband was a distributor and uh, when he moved warehouses, these were up in the attic, and she found three of them. And uh, I'm going to be attempting to get one to work. As you can see, this was in a poly bag, and you see that little pencil there? That's a grease pencil, black grease pencil. And what was that used for? Well, Minnesota here, the sports teams were the Vikings and Twins. Pardon me here. Ugh. But what a bartender would do was put in the Twins versus, say, the White Sox. And each inning would keep track of the game while patrons drank Grain Belt products at the bar. Then they would wipe it off and do it again the next day. But it's pretty amazing to find this new in the package. Let's unbox it. Well, I'm a beer geek, and I'll assume you are too if you're watching this, but check out the tagline, Born a Long Time of Brewing on both the radio and the pencil. And you would think, well, first I was amazed that this gal had these, but after being in the package, I couldn't wait to fire one up and uh, listen to a modern day twins game on it. But you know what? I plugged them in. There's two Christmas tree bulbs, small ones in here that backlight this scoreboard. They didn't work. Oh, a tube radio. Who will work on those in today's world? And I'm wondering what it's going to cost to get them to work. But check out what I found out. And I will, uh, I can show you that it doesn't come to life. Just take my word for it, okay? But I found a quick hack or uh, method to get these things to work. Check it out. And on a side note, I had all the screws off the back of the case. Note to self, these have to be pulled off before the case will come off. And all they do is you get underneath them and lift them straight off. But then your case is going to come off. Okay, here we are with the case off. There's the speaker. There's the two bulbs I talked about. The schematic, big word for today, of the radio showing the innards and the tubes and tube sizes. And look at that, handwritten in a grease pencil just like the one that came with it. I'm not sure if that's a build date, but here is what I found out does not work. What you need to do is go to Home Depot and get yourself a can of this. It doesn't have to be this brand, but the big thing here is, see this? Plastic safe. See the case of the radio? It's made of plastic. You know what happens if you don't get plastic safe and you spray it there? Melted. And that's not good on a new old stock radio. You're going to turn a beautiful radio that's lasted 50 years intact into a piece of crap. What we're going to do is just spray it right in there where it goes down and then underneath here there's a little hole in the side of the volume pot. Come on, focus, focus. And we're gonna spray a little bit of this in there. And I will, the last radio, I found three of these. The last one that I fired up, come on, focus, baby. There we go. Smoke actually came off the tubes. We'll see if we can replicate that magic now. And beer fans, I have to let you know that I'm about the least mechanically inclined person that uh, I know of. So for me to do this for, with an eight, can of contact cleaner that gives me great sense of achievement. Here we go. We've got it plugged in now and we are going to do the big reveal. I'll probably fail, but let's check it out. Now check it out as these tubes slowly warm up. And I apologize for the crappy lighting. We're out in my garage at 6 a.m. and don't want to wake the family. Okay. It takes a while to warm up. That's what's so cool about these tube radios. So I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit, and we're going to... Oh. Welcome again, Twins fans. Oh, that's me. Ready? Here we go. Oh, 
Come on. high at the airport of 79 yesterday. Well, we'll start out mostly sunny today, but increasing clouds moving in uh, this afternoon. Rain uh, eventually moving in from the west uh, very late afternoon and early evening. For sure, there'll be some rain overnight. Uh, you know, I'm not sure why that gives me such a thrill, but to bring it back to life that reasonably, uh, I found out that information from my partner, Steve Miner. We're both partners in the beer world at iBuyOldBeer.com. If you got any questions, tips, stuff for sale, email us. We'll be here. That's the Greenbelt Scoreboard Radio. I'm Barry from iBuyOldBeer.com from my garage. See ya.